Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in today's video, I know uh, previously we talked about taking this thing to the dealership. It is still going to the dealership, but because the um, wait time to where they can actually get me in is pretty significant, like at least a couple days, I figured I'd go ahead and reseal the brake light so that when we get it over there, it's not sitting and just collecting rain uh, and water. So we had this blower unit um, all night on the water spot, and you can see it's pretty dried out. Um, I'm not able to really squish water out of it, but you can see like right here, it's just stained all the way around um, and over on the other side as well. So <clears throat> it dried out pretty good. We've got our uh, third brake light out. We're gonna go ahead and replace this foam gasket. We're gonna take it. You can still see water squishes out of it. So if you see here, see all that water that just accumulates in it so this thing's taking on water for sure um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use our 3m adhesive uh, windshield adhesive i called the dealership i said hey what did you guys use to seal this because it looks like window adhesive and they told me um, flat out that according to fca the reseal procedure uh, when they do these is to use what's called a mopar uh, windshield sealant and um, when I looked it up it's actually very similar to or it is the same thing as this 3m uh, window sealant that I have so we've gone ahead and cleaned up let me get up here we've gone ahead and cleaned up around our third brake light as much as we can this stuff is really hard to get off, but if you take a scraper to it, you can you can pretty much scrape it off. Um, and you can use like a non-marring uh, plastic tool that's most beneficial. And then just take denatured alcohol and wipe it down. Um, get as much of it off as you can. A lot of times with this 3M adhesive, um, one, you're not really gonna be sealing um, around here all the way. It's gonna be a little bit further in, I believe, and then it'll seal along this bottom edge. Um, so I think that's what happened. You can see where there was no adhesive contact. So this was just letting all kinds of water in through that gasket. Um, but wipe it down with denatured alcohol. A lot of times when you use the 3M window adhesive um, or sealant, it does tell you in the instructions, if you look on their website at the specific instructions for this stuff, that when you're replacing a windshield, they don't even require you to scrape all of this off um, they actually tell you to leave a like a thin layer and then bond the new glue to this um, previous layer so I don't think it's gonna it, it shouldn't be an issue with uh, resealing it all right so the first thing we've gone ahead and done is prepped our um, cock gun so we've got this 3m auto glass urethane windshield adhesive 08693 is the part number um, if you guys want to get this. It comes packaged. We got these off of Amazon. Um, I'll link it in the description below, but it comes with a little um, nozzle and then packaged like this. We got them in a pack of two. I think they were, I don't know, anywhere between $11 and $15. I don't know what they are now, but either way. So we got that. We got our, our caulk gun prepped. This is um, an upgraded caulk gun from what you would normally get at like Lowe's. It provides more pressure on the tube itself. You just gotta be careful with this stuff um, because it will split the, the tube uh, if you're not careful. Just cut our tube. We tried to cut it more of like a V uh, just so you get that high mount and then when you press this stuff on, it seals uh, completely, it just squishes it out. This tube has been sitting probably for about, I don't know, maybe <clears throat> eight months or so. So we just let the stuff dry in the um, in the cone and it comes out just like this. So it's like a, a rubbery substance. Um, it's pretty easy to get out. We just had to cut it so you don't have to put like a screw in your um, in your nozzle or anything like that or, or cone. 
um, just let it dry out and then it'll dry to a point where it stops and then you can just push it out or pull it out with uh, pliers, pick, whatever. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove this foam gasket. Um, so just take razor blade, whatever, uh, get it off as much as you can and then clean it up, uh, whether it be with an eraser wheel or whatever, but just try to get all this adhesive off and then we'll go ahead and um, put some sealant on here just in the same fashion that the, the gasket is. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got the third brake light cleaned up. Uh, be careful, we got a little bit close to it, but you can see like there's like these little ripples or whatever, but that's just from the eraser wheel staying in one spot too long. Um, so just be a little bit quicker on this side, we were fine, um, but that plastic is really soft. So it'll be fine once we put the sealant on because it's gonna uh, fill in those voids. But um, what we're gonna do now is just wipe it down with uh, <coughs> denatured alcohol and then install our light harness back in it. And then we'll show you putting the sealant on uh, how you want it to roughly look. Make sure you wear gloves with this stuff because it is very tough to get off your hands. All right, at this point, we're gonna go ahead and put some gloves on, um, and then we'll put a, a bead around it. We'll prep our truck and make sure everything's good to go on there. At this point, we wiped down all of the surface that we're gonna be uh, applying anything to, um, and we've also taped off so that that way we don't get any of this stuff on our paint where we don't want it visible. So this will come off once we put the uh, light in. So let's get to coating the light. So third brake light's in, and if you can kind of look, I don't know if I can get you in there far enough, but you can see the black sealant in there. You might be able to see it squish out a little bit. But you can see as I move the light, it's actually making contact and squishing out up against that. So one of the main issues with these lights is that they're only held in with two screws. The new ones, from my understanding, if I'm not wrong, is that they're held in by four screws. Um, I have seen a couple things on uh, the forums for fifth gens that say um, they, they're having the same issue as well. So um, it's just something to think about. But 
this is one way that you could fix it. You can do RTV, you can do whatever you want. Um, that'll seal it, but this is the way that um, FCA recommends to their dealerships to seal their their lights not specifically cutting the foam off but um, more so just doing the uh, this sealant type over the foam uh, so when I talked to the dealership they said the FCA uh, procedure is as follows so you take the light out along the foam uh, gasket you put an eighth inch wide bead of Mopar windshield sealant on there and then you reapply or you reinstall so in my opinion I would rather not have the foam seal or the foam gasket in there that's going to collect water like you just saw um, or you could go ahead and I've seen guys do like marine marine grade uh, weather stripping stuff like that so um, there's a, a ton of ways that you could reseal this thing but this is just one way that we uh, decided to do it so but anyways that'll that'll complete the video uh, for this time and uh, hope you guys got some good information out of it at least be sure to check out the other videos uh, in regards to this water leak issue that we we have had uh, we'll put those up as well and um, we'll give you another update here in a little bit once every all the work is completed um, but anyways like i said that's going to complete the video thanks for watching we hope you guys got something out of it uh, that'll help you in the future make sure you like this video subscribe Click that bell notification so that you get notified of new content. Thanks for watching. As always, see you next upload.